This is the National Video Journalist Network. Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Right now we're at Kaniac Park Ice Rink. We're going to be doing a Ranger Charity alumni game um, with some of my coaches, alumni, and Ranger greats like Adam Graves, Tom Laidlaw, Ron Greshner, Ron Duguay, and many others. It's going to be a, an awesome night. This is the first event of seven that the Rangers will be doing, the Ranger Assist Program, along with Chase. Uh, we just happen to be the first ones and, and the lucky ones to kick off the season. I can speak for the L alumni. We still like to play, we still like to score a goal, we still like to entertain. And at the end of the day, if we can team up with Chase and raise some money for a good cause, wow, what a great night. Unfortunately, it is expensive, and we want to make it affordable for everybody. So the Arrows are a not-for-profit ice hockey association, and what we do is really rely heavily on fundraising activities to help keep costs down or actually give grants out to families that can't afford this, this game. When you're a little kid and you're out there playing like I was when I was small, I don't think you realize that all the volunteer hours and all the money that had to be raised so you get on the ice, all the equipment, the travel time, ice costs, insurance, all the things that goes into young kids having a chance to play. Uh, so now that you get a little older and you realize all those things, you realize how much was put into our career so we could get uh, to the National Hockey League and follow our dreams. So I think we, that's why we're here. We realize you know, it's time for us to give back like other people gave to us. <laughs> Even if we hadn't got to play in the NHL, all the experience we've had, all the things we learned, the, the teammates, uh, you know, you learn to fight through things so much and it helps you in the rest of your life. So uh, for me, when I look back at it, even if these young guys, even if one guy or nobody gets to play in the NHL, just what we're uh, helping in a small way with us, uh, give them the opportunity to learn from, uh, I think is really important. All right, you guys can get me. Okay, so I have to get it is a very expensive sport, but events like this allow us to raise funds so the organization can offer scholarship for those families that are not able to, you know, pay the full fee of tuition. It exposes the game of hockey to people that probably thought the, the game was not reachable. Our son had a dream to play hockey, and we told him absolutely not, because all we thought was that it was an expensive sport. Very. But because of the arrows, we were able to let our kids skate. Well, the important thing about the assist program is it benefits nonprofit youth hockey organizations. And so uh, the organizations have a chance to, to apply to become a part of the game, the program, host the game. And so the Arrows were one of the first programs to reach out to us and, and express an interest in, in uh, running a fundraiser. And uh, that's why we started the program here. We, we knew they had an incredible organization with a, a lot of community support. And uh, as you can see here tonight, uh, they, really, they really have a, a lot of folks behind them. I'm 62 years old. I've been, I've been playing this game since I'm three. We all love Ranger fans, but we like any hockey fans. Uh, seeing the kids' faces, hanging out with them, talking to them, taking pictures, signing autographs for them. Anything, anything I know our alumni for sure can do, we, we, we're more than happy to help. They're rock stars, and the fact that they do this is phenomenal. And it teaches our children how to stay humble when they are superstars.